Ay, I use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, uh, turn the knob, camera assist, I'm incredible. I'm incredible. Yeah, came for the dollars, call it basketball. Uh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me bro? Ooh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me woke? Uh, just a spectacular afternoon for football here in the Tar Heel State of North Carolina as EA Sports welcomes you inside Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the San Francisco 49ers and the Carolina Panthers. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out two yards the loss second and 12 and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way i think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first the wrong way. Here's second and 12. 21, 21. <laughs> From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. 27 yards there on a very nice third down conversion. First down. Field. Here's Garoppolo. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Niners have taken the early lead. Well, that's how they envisioned it get the football to start the game and score it. And I don't know if that was scripted. Was it an audible, score, or was it just a play seven. call that they had Panthers, in their pocket? No matter what, they had the right call on against the right defense, and they end up in the end zone. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. the 30 to the 32. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. the quick slant going to be complete and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 11 yards there first down they've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball i don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production but 
I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Here's a second and seven. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, stepping back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. Here's Stick on first and 10. That'll be caught by his tight end, Ian Thomas. Seven yards to pick up there. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there are more people there to get him down. Second and three. Going deep here for Bryant. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not much there at all as he'll get this only up to about the 11. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 11, 11. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. These defenses have become so opportunistic. And no matter what you're playing, in this case, wide receiver, you got to be careful. You certainly do because there is a phrase in today's football that we use all the time, completing the process of the catch. Well, it's after you do that where the trouble begins, right? Meaning you've tucked it away, you're trying to get downfield, but someone's always coming up trying to rake it the ball and knock it free. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Ball's out, but this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Throw left side, complete. It's Warren. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Give him six on the play, and it'll be a second down. At the 49ers, 14-yard line.
takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. 57, Mike, 57. Got water, got water. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he finds a man. It's McCaffrey. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Now Anderson on the jet sweep. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion, and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Second and goal from inside the five. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. Joey Sly to kick off four down. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. Takes this about five yards deep. Now a hit and a loose football. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he will score. Touchdown, Panthers. Chris Warren with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Good. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. 49 to 7. Joey Sly to kick off for Carolina. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Yeah, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. 
And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. There's Garoppolo to throw. And that will be incomplete. One thing that you're going to see from this offense is that they love the matchup with their wide receivers against this secondary. That one wasn't successful, but don't expect them to back away from attacking all game long. Wisnowski on to punt as he sends this one away. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. And that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 yards there, first down. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. Clock runs, less than a minute to go in an entertaining first quarter of play. 54 is Mike, 54 is Mike. Check, check, watch. No gain there on the completion, second and ten. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Here's second and ten. switch it up here and look to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. Give him five on the screen play, and that'll set up a third down. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. We'll check on his status when we get back. They'll need to get this to the 38. That's where the first down marker is here on third. the shotgun he'll look to throw oh the ball comes out on the hit but they'll say it's incomplete intended for christian mccaffrey incomplete so on fourth down kicking it away here michael pilardi and they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13 yard line pretty good spot yard line The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before, and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again, second and ten. 
Garoppolo looks to throw. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Jeremy had the incomplete pass on second down. Now they need a big play here. Third and ten. To throw is Garoppolo. But when this ball's tipped and intercepted, Desmond King picks it. And he's going to return it to the 21-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have the same reputation for hands as wide receivers do, in this case, that ball was expected to be caught. First down, this is McCaffrey. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And that's what I'd like to see out of this defense, a little fire, a little toughness. It hasn't been the best first half for them, but they did do a nice job there forcing a loss on that play. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll get a couple here down to the 22. Johnson on the carry. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Javon Kinlaw in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. 46-yard attempt. This one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will move up by 10 now. 17 to 7. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points. Either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. At their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. And he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great... And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. Makes the score Panthers 17. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Yeah, 
An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. one to his tight end out on the right side and they get it down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line that one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards out of the gun they'll look to throw now a leaping catch, he's got it. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They still need about the length of the football here, maybe a little less as they come up on second and inches. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. one down to about the 27. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. set up to throw. Open man is Robbie Anderson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown Carolina. Robbie Anderson. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Panthers, they widen their lead. Slide for the PAT. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Makes the score Panthers 24. 49ers 14. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. set to get this drive underway. These two teams trading touchdowns here in what has been a back-and-forth first half. And ordinarily, we're trying to figure out how to break out of a stalemate. Here, you're trying to figure out if you can slow someone down while continuing your breakneck pace on offense. I know one thing. The people in the crowd, they're getting their money's worth right now. And the fantasy owners like it. Oh, without a doubt. They're just tallying them up, aren't they? <laughs> they're watching this game. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Oh, he'll look downfield for Kittle. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
Great way to convert on third down there. 21 yards the play. 49ers. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. He's brought Shaq Thompson on the tackle that time. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to help feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. Garoppolo's throw taken in by Samuel. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You mates all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing the danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. A little jet sweep to start to drive. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards the loss, second and 12. It's a loss that's the danger, Charles, of running plays like this for your wide receiver. They can hit big or they can be duds. Yeah, you're exactly right about that because if they're forced to try and go around defenders behind the line of scrimmage, sometimes you can give yardage in order to gain it. But in this case, they gave yardage and didn't get it back. Here we go on second and 12. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. Here's a run on first down that won't even get back to the line of scrimmage. He will lose a yard, second and 11. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. Second and 11. Flushed out right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. So I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that. Frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing. Just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Switch it, switch it, switch it. Come on, switch it. Slam, slam. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to drop this down to McCaffrey. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he gets it away. A directional kick going toward the sideline. This one angles out of bounds at a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Garoppolo on first down. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Dante Jackson picks it, and he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. 
Ah, yes, the old tip drill works to perfection there. Ah, you're bringing back great memories. You used to love that drill. A lot of times in practice, you work on it, not just one tip, but multiple tips, just in case the ball stays in the air for a while, to have an awareness and the ability to go up and grab it, and then you want to get some blocking support and end up in the opposite end zone. In that tip drill, do you? what do you yell? Uh, for, for, for us, it was Oski. Okay, Oski different was an for different teams. Different teams have different ways of doing it. I've heard bingo, jackpot. The worst I ever heard, though, was Frankenstein. You don't want it to be a too many syllables. Word. Yeah. You, want, you want to get it right down and go. Oski is really the preferred word. Oski. Now Garoppolo to try again after the pick six. He's got a man complete. 20. 10, touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six. The kick is good. I don't think you can get any more efficient or tidy, whatever word you want to use in that, man. One play, 75 yards, end zone. Yeah, efficient, tidy, excellent words. How about explosive? 75 yards, one play. That means everyone handled their assignment, doesn't it? It doesn't just mean that the defense broke down. They really executed the way that was drawn up on the whiteboard. Big time play, big time result. At their own 30 yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. You've got under a minute to go here until halftime. you got the good size lead. No need to do anything crazy. No, there really is no need to do anything crazy. The smart play, go ahead and take your lead into the locker room and then try and add to it in the second half. But there's a part of me that looks at this and says, First half going my way. I have a little bit of a cushion. Let's go ahead and try and extend things. If you've got some good plays drawn up, you might want to think about them right here. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Trying to fit it into Moore, but it's intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Second interception for him now here in this first half. And you got to think he's a rookie, Charles. How much does confidence start to become a factor? I think that's a great question because that's what they're going to check on when he gets to the sidelines. The coach is going to check on it. His teammates are going to check on it because when you haven't done it before, it's not something that's part of you. You got to see how you're going to react. Let's see how he bounces back. Yeah, because two interceptions for him in college and a half. I mean, that just didn't happen. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout. As it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. First and 10 here, and you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down. Garoppolo, and he hauls it in, in the end zone, touchdown San Francisco. Touchdown. George Kittle, his second touchdown on the season, and the 49ers are back within a score. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is down to a field goal. Here is Wisnowski to boot it away following the touchdown. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result that he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. So time perhaps for one final kneel down before they take this lead to the locker room. And with time running down, they go down to a knee.
So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! Mitch Wisnowski to kick off. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble of bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. Seven-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. On second down, it's Johnson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. the play fake he'll look to throw and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down and those two just have been in sync thus far they've done a nice job against him but still with his talent you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game ball on the 42 as they come up second and ten shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey down but not before getting this inside the 30. A game there of 30 big ones. The safeties were well back there and he had a lot of room. Were they in the cover too? Yeah they were and the safeties were back. You know usually they're 12 to 15 yards off the line of scrimmage somewhere around the hash mark for each of them but what also happens if the linebackers dive into the line if you block them initially that blocker can come off of them and get up to the safeties on the second level and now you've got a big place to run the football. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. He'll look to throw. Now the Niners get there and bring him down. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So after the sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off at the 49. Pass the 20. Oh, you got to feel it, baby. And into the end zone, a pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. And the big boy, dare I say, he showed some athleticism there. Oh, without a doubt. And you know what else we saw on that play? Why they do more and more ball drills in practice. They want everyone proficient with catching the football and being comfortable because you never know when a big play like this will happen for a big man. Now, post-game locker room, does he get an extra drumstick? Hey, he was going to get that anyway. He may get the whole spread now. Yeah, put some gravy on there. <laughs> now, this will make it into the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And following the pick six, and they 
decent field position and throwing that pick six. We'll see how they attack this drive. And I think all you say to your guy is, listen, let's just take care of the football a little bit better. Make some better decisions on this drive, and they'll probably help him a little bit with maybe some really high percentage throws early to let him get settled back yeah, in. But they told him, and they told us, they've got confidence. That, that's not a problem. Yeah, not a problem at all. They just want to make sure they get things settled down a little bit for their offense and give their defense a little bit of a chance to rest. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Trouble and he's taken down. Javon Kinlaw. He's the one to get him, and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Well, someone's closing in on the league lead in sacks. He came into the game in the top five. Now you add two more to his total. gun now on third down he's gonna air one out for anderson and that will be incomplete well they weren't scared to let it fly but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down two things you can do in that situation run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down they chose the latter but they'll have to punt all the same polardi now on to punt as he sends this one away and it's fielded at the 34. Now a hit and a loose football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. I remember sitting in special teams meetings. And at some point during the meeting, the coach would always say, you better treat this one just like you're playing offense or defense. It's a big part of the game. And we just saw evidence of why right there with that fumble. Yeah, fumble on the punt. And after it was turning up to be a pretty decent return. Yeah, a really nice return. They were going to be set up okay. And the offense would feel good running onto the field. And now the defense has to try it out there and try and slow them down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the field, defense. Mike 54. Mike 54. Hey, defense. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Panthers are going to jump back in front. Getting your back involved. What's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. It oftentimes makes people miss because that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Now a handoff looking right. And he's got some space here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. The two big plays right in succession as this one goes for 27. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big 
he'll carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And this is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Right, 22 is the line to gain here on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Second down and goal. Garoppolo looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. But now it's third and goal. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third down. Now, if you're going to get rid of it, you better get outside the pocket. Yeah, you have to get outside of that tackle-to-tackle -to -tackle box, right? Get out there, and then you can do it legally. But he wasn't able to do so, and they end up losing the down as well. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays, and when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And able to get this out to the 25. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A big chunk on the ground there, 27 yards. Most of the damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've run the belt three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They toss it out right to Johnson. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Four yards the pick up, first down. Not a whole lot there. The defense was ready, it looked, for that run pass option. You get the sense that next time he has that opportunity, he may keep it himself and get to the perimeter. Probably owes his back a little bit of an apology on that one, huh? Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10.
This is McCaffrey. And tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. The tackle Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. This one to his running back out of the backfield. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Johnson and not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. And 11 at the 16 yard line. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. Interceptions, and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much, because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. First down, San Francisco. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Complete. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Looking to throw again on second down. Garoppolo throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Brandon Ayuk, the one he was looking for. And it's third and short. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. Garoppolo looking to throw on third and two. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. And to give this time to the tailback. 
And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. From seven yards there and a first down. And he's certainly been a huge factor in this when he's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. taken down at the seven after a gain of seven this has been an up and down back and forth type of a game hasn't it maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails kind of settle things down a little bit seven yard line a good run got seven on first here's second and three on the counter here's Coleman the six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And the 49ers have moved out in front. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off. Four now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play guy a question. <laughs> hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. McCaffrey on the counter. going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. That one 28 yards on the ground. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. You 
They'll run on first down. Johnson and the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That was a good illustration of setting the edge as a defensive end, being able to make sure that you stay on your feet no matter what type of block, and you're not going to get pushed inside. Stayed home, skated to the outside, and made the play. On second down, McCaffrey. And not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support. And I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. the shotgun he'll look to throw and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete they really had a good drive going there but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what i think for the offense an unexpected fourth down here so on fourth down out trots the kicker in a big spot here from the left hash this from 37 and his kick here is good and that will bring the deficit back down to three. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at the 42-yard line. McCaffrey on the toss right. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. At the 37-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. 15 yards on the play, first down. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down. It's Johnson, and there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Now, that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy's nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Back to throw. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. He was trying to get that one into the hands of Christian McCaffrey. But now it's third down. You tell they wanted to get that ball downfield, but they had nothing working in the secondary, so he dropped it off to the running back. That one ended up incomplete. Hey! 
An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. Back to throw. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And his kick is good. And we are all tied here in the final stages. So a big kick to get this back to even. And now the worry is, did you leave too much time on the clock? Because another field goal the other way, that does you in. You're exactly right. You didn't get into overtime yet. So now as a defense, you've got to think to yourself, you can't play prevent defense and just give up big chunks of yardage in front of you. But you also can't let anyone behind you. So you sit right on the line between the two, play the best defense you can, and not make it easy for them to move the ball downfield. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Now Garoppolo. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Garoppolo to throw. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Trey Boston. And he's able to take this one back to the 36-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. So from the 36 now, first and 10. McCaffrey, and he'll be taken down at the 34. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Partner, they're clearly saving those timeouts, but they still have to work with some urgency to put themselves in the right position. At the 34-yard line. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against him. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. has to be pounding inside the chest of Joey Sly. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. Oh, that heart has to be pounding inside the chest of Joey Sly. Three for three so far, and a fourth would win it. And it's off the left upright. Oh, my goodness, heartache. It's no good. And here in overtime, if the team that receives the ball scores a touchdown, it's over. If they don't, we can still have some more football. That's exactly right. If they go down and kick a field goal, the other team gets a possession to either match it or score a touchdown to win the ball game. 
If both teams kick field goals, the next team to score wins. But if the receiving team throws a pick six or fumbles the ball and gets picked up by the defense and they score, the game is over at that point. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They control their own destiny here. They have the football in overtime. Obviously, a touchdown would win it. I think teams around the league are still adjusting to the idea of going downfield, scoring a touchdown, wins the game because they were used to just going downfield and trying to get in field goal range to win a game. Still having to make that transition. Let's face it now, the ones who are doing it best know they need to go down, attack, put the ball in the end zone, and not leave it up to a field goal and give the other team a chance. Yeah, as we said, they control their own destiny now. Now a man open down the middle of the field and able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down. Here we go, here we go. Throwing on first is Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. That catch good for only a couple. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Oh, and it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber, I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards. And it's second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now they go from second and two to a tough third and four. Brings up third and four. Forty Niners have an extra defensive back on the field, a nickel set for third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. They'll give him a yard on the play, and that's going to make it fourth down. I wouldn't be surprised to see the next step in utilizing this position is to actually utilize more of a scat back in this spot because we saw the catch there, right? He made it, but he's a bigger, stronger guy, maybe not quite as elusive as maybe someone else you would put yeah, there. Yeah, didn't get the big yardage there you might out of a smaller back. And now a whistle and a timeout called by the kicking team. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. 
Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And it is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. And he'll have a tough time living that one down. It's one thing, Charles, to drop a pass. It's quite another to drop it on fourth down. And so many teams work on that in terms of locking in on those key downs. You know, I've seen, you know, you and I have both been to practices where we've seen Hey, third down situation, big third down alert, lock in here, fourth down play, make sure you focus just a little bit extra, it didn't pay off in that situation. Two yards the loss, second and 12. When people talk about plays being blown up, that's exactly what they're talking about. That's exhibit A for physical play. First play of the drive goes the wrong way, here's second and 12. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Well, he flew past 200, 300, 400 yards. Now he's over 450 yards passing on the day. So what you're saying is oxygen for everyone catching the ball and trying to defend? Yeah, especially those guys trying to defend right now. No doubt. They've got to be a confused group because they haven't been able to defend him very well at all. And I think he just wants to keep firing. When you have that kind of a day, you're just locked in. Just keep calling those pass plays. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. But officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Second and 10 at the 30-yard line. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers, 23. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. And it's third down. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Touchdown, San Francisco. A partner, great game that we got to see and making it extra special. Not only did I get four quarters with you in this one, I got some overtime, a little whipped cream on top. Look at you, trying to make this whole thing palatable. I just want you to pay for my meal later. Hey, you really just wanted four quarters <laughs> what you wanted, but how much fun was that? We had that type of a game where we got us to overtime, and then we got the dramatic ending to finish things off as well. What a game. So for San Francisco, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they will head home next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they can't quite seem to turn things around as they fall into two and four now on the year. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to L.A. to take on the Rams. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some range and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half. Had a blast. Can I kick it? Yeah. Even with a sprain. Pain. Can I kick it? Just the flex. I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it? Things ain't been the same. Things have changed. Can I kick it? People acting different. So I ask. Can I? Hey. Could count on my power and look at my dog. Some Way back then, you claim what you saw, but you weren't with us. Uh, the higher the climb, the harder the fall, but how did you get up? I done got rich and went broke, then got rich again, just a little hiccup. I done been bought in this pickup. Remember me being so bummy and being so hungry, I had to eat gross. Uh, how did the lady go miss? Uh, how she was mad, she mixed. Uh, met her at one of the fights, and we caught her the rhythm. She caught up a friend, they kissed, and we dipped it, and that's how we kicked it. Let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole half. Had a blast. Can I kick it? Even with a spring. Can I kick it? I went and bought a chain. Can I kick it?
things ain't been the same, things have changed, can I kick it? People acting different, so I ask, can I? Before I went live, they ain't know what I was. Ain't no one alive that could do what I does. Wait, need a light here just to catch my buzz. He's right here just to catch my cup. Now they don't really talk about us. Now they don't really talk about love. Honestly, they ain't never seen too much. What's love to a guy with a bag? What's heart to a guy with some cash? What's pain to a guy that's mad? Said. What's broke to a guy with a mask? What's broke to a guy with a plan? I can't see what I'm going to ask. Like, let me explain what I did. Can I kick it? Hold on. Yeah, I got some rings and a range. Can I kick it? Yeah. Don't ask me a thing. How I got her, how I did it. Yeah. Spend the whole.